It has become all too obvious to me that now is not a time for humor. It's not a time for quips, it's not a time for sarcasm. Lavos is a serious threat, and he deserves to be taken seriously. He has shown that me he has shown me that now. And I aim to do just that. If he wants a serious battle, then I guess it's time for me to finally take the kids' gloves off. Hey! Let's do that. Alright, Marley, bring back Ayla. He just used some sort of weird ability that I don't under I don't remember him using before that apparently that either does a lot of damage or instant kills. I'm going to assume it did a lot of damage to Ayla just because she's not very good with magic. It does not matter. We can bring her back. We can't. We can't let him. We can't give him that s the slightest of edges. We have to actually. We have to have him on the ropes every single conceivable second. And you know what? I think in order to send the message to him proper, I think we need to get rid of him right now. Oh, he may come back. But he'll know not to mess with us. Really wouldn't expect Lavos to, you know, sing. But I guess that's something he likes to do. Okay, they probably could have used a bit of a better, uh, I don't know, effect. They've got several of those, so I don't know. I imagine they probably could have picked a better one for Chaos. But, okay, fine. If he wants to sing and dance, well, I guess that would explain why everyone would get so confused whenever he did it. I'm not sure why every time he uses Time Warp, we Chrono is countering attacking him, but eh. It's because I, I, it seems strange. You'd think it would be something that actually, you know, it would only happen when he gets damaged. But Chrono, man, the second an enemy does anything, he just flips right off the handle. Okay, so you're gonna use this, eh? Fine, fine. Bring it on. Something I. I failed to do last time that I'm going to rectify this time is make sure all of my characters are at prime condition every step of the way. I ain't gonna let this guy have a single edge on me. He's proven far too dangerous to even be given any sort of benefit of the doubt. So I'm gonna use every single item I've got in my inventory to take this guy out to the best of my possible ability. It is kind of awesome that we're sort of, you know, bouncing around through all of space and time. Like, all of the location we've been to is flashing in the background. That's kind of awesome. Okay, get rid of this healing thing. We don't want any of that. Good day to you, you little weirdo. Seriously, back off. There we go. Not even gonna let him give... I'm not even gonna give him that brief moment. No. You ain't gonna get healed whatsoever. Okay, you go ahead and use your ultimate magical attack. We can heal from that. Man, that does a lot of damage to Ayla. Dang, okay. And there you go, no more Lavos. Okay, hold up. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. No chances. Now, we shall wail on him like there ain't no dang tomorrow. But, remember what I said? Yeah, the Lavos himself, not that big of a threat. You really wouldn't think that this thing this insignificant little module that he summons to fight alongside him would really well and truly be the major threat. And yet here he is, standing alone where Lavos has failed. A simple small portion of Lavos's energy. Apparently, that just doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, for some reason he has raised his defenses even though he is now by himself. Kind of strange, but eh, okay. I'll just wail on him until he decides to let his defenses down, because he's going to have to do it if he plans on reviving either the other core or Lavos himself. Like so. Kind of a foolish move on your part, you little weirdo. Come on. Every ounce of power, every ounce of strength that we possibly can spare. Throw it all at him once. One after another, blow after blow, not letting him have a single moment to catch his breath. We are saving all of time. Everyone we've met across our travels. We are here to protect every last single one of them from now until the end of time. And it doesn't matter how many times you hit us, we're gonna keep coming back. First things first. Nope, ain't having none of that. Getting rid of you. Ain't gonna have none of that nonsense. No healing. No nothing. 
kind of annoying that he can bring back both at the exact same time, but you know what? I don't care. If that's the way he wants to do this, I'm more than happy to oblige. He can bring himself back from the dead as many times as he possibly wants. It's nothing. We are going, we are, it's just absolutely nothing we can't handle, okay? So just go down, Lavos. Go down and never come back up. Because you, you have limits. You can be defeated. But us, we're not gonna let you win. It's impossible. This is where it messed me up before. Well, not gonna give you the chance. Not even give you the chance. All right, hold up. Chrono, you've got some resurrecting magic. Use it. Bring Marley back this instant and give her a mouth health in order to survive at least one attack. Serious lady, item completely useless. Don't even bother with that garbage. Okay, Mega Elixir. What's that? You say it's a waste of that perfectly good item? Well, we're fighting for all of time and space ultimate battle of all of history. I think now is a perfect time to use that sort of item. So, yeah. Ain't having none of it. No chances. No hesitation. Just non-stop punishment and power. The second he goes down, he'll have no choice but to drop his defenses once more and we'll bring on a whole new different style of pain. Oh, random status. Hey, bring it on. Bring on your terrible karaoke. Seriously. Not having any of it. And he's down once more. Oh, and you're going to revive the Lavos bit? Oh, well, that's just unfortunate timing. Well, that's a big old pile of bummer. Well, fine. Okay, fine. Like I said, bring yourself back as many times as you want. I'm going to keep going until you're down. The stakes are too high, man. The stakes are just way, way too high. Okay, to the best of my knowledge, his defense is still down, so hey, why don't we use another final kick against that little guy while, but while he's still got, you know, he doesn't have his bearings down. Like I said, he's still the bigger threat. Apparently, Lavos himself has a, has what a hell of a slap move that does quite a bit of damage. But at the end of the day, ain't mattering. So two slaps for the price of one, eh? Fine, Marley. Okay, like I said, not even the slightest edge, okay? Okay, I think I saw his uh, defense go back up, so I'll make sure to test that first. Gonna have to go back down eventually. No, his defense is still down. Oh, well, all right then. Oh, no, wait, now his defensive power has been restored. Well, all right then. Back to attacking Lavos himself. I've already killed you once, dude. I'll kill you a second time. You come back, I'll kill you a third. I'll kill you a fourth. I'll kill you 19 times in a straight up row. Whatever it takes to save the world, man. Let's just wait patiently. Wait patiently. Time warp. Counterattack to the time warp. Awesome. Wait for the time. Yep. Okay, final kick. Never let your defense down, you little peon. Not even for a second. That's the type of weakness I'm gonna capitalize on, all right? Come on. Okay, you're gonna use your ultimate physical attack. Very well. Oddly enough, his ultimate physical attack, dropping a big rock on us. And no air. Anyway, Mega Elixir once more. You will get no chances, man. Come on. Waiting for it. Time warp. That's fine. You keep on time warp and do whatever you freaking want, man. Come on. Revives the Lavo Spit. That's fine. Whatever. His defense is still down. Let's capitalize on the moment of weakness. Right now. So much power behind these kicks, man. So much power. All right, now take care of that thing before he causes some serious problems for me down the road. Oh no, not the power to slow us down. That would just be awful. Oh wait, no, don't care. Okay, I did a bit of damage to Ayla. I'll give you that much, but that's no big feat. She's never had a good time with magic. She's a cave woman, that sort of thing. Also, she's wearing practically nothing. Which is kind of cool, but the point is, ain't got a whole lot of good armor on her. So go! Go, go, go! Okay, protect the seals. Blah, 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 blah. Don't care. Gotta get rid of the Healy bits. Get rid of the Healy bits. Make sure he lowers the defenses. We can do this. We just gotta... Oh, there we go. That's exactly what I would like. All right. Is your defense down or up? It's down! Ha, ha, ha! 
Oh, evil star! Oh, no, not lowering our health by one half. That's just diabolical. How can we possibly comprehend such magnifying power? Oh, no. There goes Tokyo. You ain't no Godzilla, boyo. Item. Mega Elixir once more. Only got one left. I only need one more. Because this is just about done. Wait. Yeah, time warp. Time warp as many times as you see fit, bucko. It ain't happening. Oh, his defensive power is restored. Don't care. You're going to have to let it down if you want to bring back the Healy bit. And seeing as how that's what you're designed to do, you don't really have a choice in the matter. So, feel free to lower your defenses whenever you want and get another face full of Cavewoman foot. Or bad karaoke. Fine. Come on. Oh, come on, Chrono. Really? All the times for you to do this. You gotta do it now. And yet he still counterattacks that? Oh, wow. He snapped out of it almost immediately. Rock on, Chrono. Rock on. Don't let the confusion tie up your mind. Hold up. Hold up. up, up, up oh. It's time for another final kick to the dang face. Or whatever it is you've got. Doesn't matter. Gonna kick it anyway. And we're done. World saved. What happens now? Chrono. Chrono. Chrono! It's time to rise and shine. We have a little surprise for you. Your stay of execution has been canceled. We must now carry out your sentence. We've been looking for you, Chrono. Where did you take my daughter? Daddy, don't! Chrono hasn't done a thing! She says Chrono has been a perfect gentleman, but... What do you think, Chancellor? Chrono's deeds have had an enormous impact on the kingdom. Chancellor, how could you? Please, just listen to me. We had to... Save the future, right? Huh? You saved the future and gave us hope. You fought Magus' troops and brought peace to the kingdom in the year 600. Chrono beat reptiles. What? What's going on here? Luca! You brought them here, didn't you? Our kinsman told me all about your incredible mission. Kinsman? You mean, these are my ancestors? And descendants? Here I was fussing about my kingdom and my daughter, and you were saving past, present, and future. Now for a true victory parade. Tonight we celebrate you. Now Marley, go out and enjoy the last night of the fair. Come along with Chrono, our hero. Princess Nadia's finally home. At last, Gardia's back to normal. It's a moonlight parade. You know, I can't help but notice that imp there doesn't seem to have any quarrels with humans. I wonder if it, that thing we did in the past had anything to do with that. 
And oh, hey, look! There's Luca's parents, noticeably standing on her legs. <laughs> Funny how that all works, huh? This music is beautiful. I don't mind saying that. So many dancers! It's a it's a truly a festival to be sure. Honey, don't be a sack of potatoes, dance with me. Chrono the King says, you save the future. Wait till I tell my friends. It is pretty mind-blowing, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Not much business and weapons anymore, but I like it that way. You know what, Meliquar? I think I like it better that way too. Luca, where'd you go? Well, everyone, this is it. Each to thine time. The gate has grown weak. We've got to say our goodbyes before the gate closes. You're all leaving? Chrono was strong. Marley, too. Ayla, have fun. You're my distant ancestor, so you better have tough kids or I'll be in trouble. <laughs> No worry, Ayla very strong. Right. Hey, what do you mean by that? Kino dummy, we go now. Bye, Ayla. You were my favorite. Tis a feisty crowd, but they are thine kin, and tis of consequence. Queen Linnea awaits, your majesty. We too shall take our leave. Frog. Mr. Frog? Long farewells ne'er were necessary. Right. Besides, actions speak louder than words. Aww. Yeah, don't these things end with the princess kissing the frog? Goodbye, frog. You're one hell of a knight. Luca. I will miss you. What's wrong, Luca? Aren't you going to say goodbye to Robo? She knows. Knows? What? Robo was born in a bleak future. When we defeated Lavos, we changed history. Robo... may not exist in the future. Haha. <laughs> Please relax. The new future has a place for me. Darn it, Robo! Don't pretend you don't care when you're really sad. It just makes things worse. Luca, you have taught me these emotions. Thank you. Tears don't become you, Luca. Robo will be there in the new future. Goodbye. Caution! Oil has washed over my sight sensors. Sight diminished. Bye, Robo. Do you remember that talk we had? You mean about whether our lives flash, bef flash by before we die? Yeah. I get the feeling that the entity is finally at rest. Yeah, I feel that too. Time travel. How exhausting! We should dismantle the Epoch. Its job is finished. You naughty thing, come back here! Look, Chrono, your cat's running away because you haven't been feeding it. 
Hey, come back here! Oh, great. Chrono, that gate will never be open again! Well, it looks like we have no choice but to go after them. Go after them, but the gates... Luca, don't turn off your brain yet! I forgot! We have a time machine! <laughs> oh, princess, the king asks for your presence. With a time machine on our hands, I get a feeling we haven't actually seen the last of our new friends. In fact, I think this just might be a brand new beginning. I'm so happy. Now there's no reason for you to go away anymore. I have a gift for you to commemorate this day, Princess Nadia. This is Nadia's bell. It will ring out across the land. Marley, where did you go? Could someone please lend me a hand? Daddy, I hate to say this, but I can't sit around doing nothing. Made it just in time. Shall I fire one off? Uh, no, Taban. Actually, I could really use your help. And that, everyone, was Chrono Trigger. One of the greatest games ever made. Hands down, man. I mean, this game has everything you could possibly want. It's perfect. There's really nothing else to say. The sounds, the characters, the story, the graphics, everything. I can't imagine anything being better. This is a wonderful game. And if you've never played it, you're doing yourself a huge disservice. I hope by watching this I've shown you that. These people worked very hard on this game, and they deserve every ounce of respect I can possibly give them. What they did here, it's magic. Robo is just fine in the future. Ayla and Kino doing their thing. And of course, with Magus gone, well... He's back in the body he deserves. There is nothing left for me to say. This game is wonderful. I hope you guys had a great time watching this, because I had a fantastic time playing it for you. I'm sorry it took so long to finally conclude, but I think it was worth the wait in the end. Enjoy the credits. I've been the Max a few trades, and I'll see you guys next time.